Hey guys, welcome back. Chennai Super Kings. Well, it's very sad to hear for all the Chennai fans out there, but it's the end of Chennai Super Kings in IPL 2020. So, the 37th match between Chennai versus Rajasthan, Rajasthan Royals have won the match by, you know, with a huge margin of 7 wickets. Well, that's really huge. So first, let's take few positives from this match. Well, for me, I can't see really one positive note from Chennai Super Kings, but there is one positive note from Rajasthan Royals. Their two most valuable overseas players, George Butler and Steve Smith. Both the batsmen have played really well and have made sure that their team has been on the victory side. Now, let's look at the other side. What are the three mistakes that Chennai Super Kings had to pay for their huge loss? Number 1. First inning score. The power score at Abu Dhabi is 162-170 runs. But Chennai Super Kings has only managed to keep 125 runs on board, which is not enough. Number 2. Proper partnerships. They have really made some adjustments in their batting order by pulling Sam Curran at the top of the order but nothing actually really went right in that direction. There were really no proper partnership whether it may be with the top order batsman or it may be with the middle order batsman. If you ask me very openly there was only one proper partnership that was between MS Dhoni and Ravinder Jadeja. Without Dhoni and Jadeja's partnership maybe Chennai Super Kings have posted a score of maybe 80 to 90. Well, that's the only partnership that Chennai Super Kings had really kept going on. Number 3. Proper bowling setup. Well, in order to restrict such a small score, Chennai Super Kings bowler had to give the 200% in order to restrict that score. But nothing really went towards Chennai Super Kings. There were few couple of drop catches and some misfields too. Well, if this is the scenario, Chennai Super Kings, I guess they really need to think on their game plan. After this huge loss, let's see where Chennai Super Kings are standing in the points table. So, Chennai Super Kings are standing at the 8th position of the points table and Rajasthan Royals are standing at the 5th position. So, what do you guys think? What went wrong for Chennai Super Kings and what actually went right for Rajasthan Royals? So, please feel free to comment your thoughts down. And I'm equally excited for the 38th match between Kings 11 Punjab and Delhi Capitals at Dubai International Stadium. So I'll see you tomorrow with the match report. If you like this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to Stumps and Bills. This is Manish signing off. Good night. Bye.